eight days ago, a jury in Minnesota handed down a verdict in one of the most high-profile cases in years in this country. They found former police officer Derek Chauvin guilty of murdering George Floyd. Twelve men and women deliberated under intense pressure. And for the first time, we're hearing what went on in that jury room. Brandon Mitchell served on the jury. He joins us this morning. Brandon, good morning to you, sir. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Take us inside the jury room. You deliberated for, as we understand it, roughly four hours. Uh, One of the 12 jurors reportedly was on the fence. Why why is that? And what ultimately brought that that one juror around? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say they were on the fence. I think they just wanted to do their due diligence um, and make sure that they understood the terminology correct. They understood exactly what the judge's instructions were. Um, in relation to the to that specific charge, what was the tipping point for you as as a juror? Was there a piece of testimony, a piece of evidence after you saw it or after you heard it, your your mind was essentially made up? Um, I think after Dr. Tobin's testimony, um, I think the way he broke everything down, um, but still kept it very scientific, um, that that was kind of the point where I was like, okay, I don't know, I don't know how the defense comes back from this. As you know, there was um, um, a a fair amount of talk about whether Derek Chauvin uh, would have testified or should have testified. Do you think that him testifying would have would have made a difference, Brandon? I don't know if it would have made a difference or not, Um, but I don't think it would have it would have hurt. Uh, I mean, we we, we found him guilty on all charges, so I don't think it would have hurt. Um, It probably could have only helped him at that point. A lot of folks were somewhat surprised at the speed with which the jury came back. Um, I mean, it, it almost seemed as if you, you guys went in there, you elected your four person, you went around the table, you said your piece, and then you voted. Is, is that a fairly accurate assessment or or no? Um, I, I thought we should have came back a little bit quicker, actually. Um, but the time we did spend was time where we were just kind of going over the details again, making sure everybody was on the same page, and just clarifying. So, yeah, for the most part, we did go in and come straight out. But I thought it should have been quicker, actually. Than Why? That. Why do you think it should have been faster? Just because I thought the evidence that the evidence was overwhelming that he was guilty, in my opinion. Um, I, th- I thought it was a no brainer. Like I said, after Dr. Tobin and, and all the other witnesses and all the evidence, I mean, I, I didn't see anything, any reason why we should have took longer than an hour. What did you make of, of Derek Chauvin's demeanor in, in, in the courtroom throughout the trial? Yeah, so, I mean, from my perspective and the angle I had, it looked like he was very confident um, the first week, week and a half. Um, and I, I personally could see the, the confidence kind of deteriorating from him and a little bit from his, from his team, from his team of attorneys. Um, as, as the, you know, more and more, more and more witnesses came up, it just seemed like they were deteriorating their confidence and it was just getting lower and lower and lower as the, as the trial went on. As you know, the, the entire world was, was watching this trial. Did, did you feel a greater sense of pressure as a juror knowing that? No, not at all. I mean, we all knew coming in that, um, that everybody would be watching, but I don't think there was any pressure um, and there's so much stress within the courtroom. We didn't even have time to think about anything on the outside or, or any of that. I mean, just being there alone and witnessing what you're witnessing on, on the videos and listening to all the people, that alone is enough stress. Um, you're not paying attention to anything else, really. As the president said before the verdict came down, I want to make sure I get this right. President Biden said, quote, I'm praying that verdict is the right verdict, which I think is it's overwhelming in my view. I wouldn't say that unless the jury was sequestered now. Did the president's comments influence your decision at all? Any other jurors decision? I didn't even know. The, I didn't even know what the comments were until just right now when you just said them. That's how far removed I've been from the news. I mean, even still. Because it gets covered so much. So I didn't know until you literally just said that now what the comments even were. One more question, then Al's got a question for you, Brandon. Um, the sentence, as you know, uh, at this point, uh, he's facing up to 40 years for second-degree murder. W- what do you think he should get? Um, well, that's, you know, that's not up to me to decide. You know, we came up with the verdict. I feel like we came up with the right verdict. And now it's time for the judge to do what he does. Hey, Brandon, you know, after the verdict, there were some in some corners of the media said that 
you guys were already predetermined, you had already predetermined what you were going to do, that, that you felt the pressure going in, and that if you didn't come up with a, an, a, a guilty verdict that things were going to go badly, that you were already determined to do that. Would you put, uh, lay, lay that to rest right now? Yes. I mean, to me, that's just so um, dismissive of the entire process. Um, like, so we're, we're everyday civilians that put our, our families, our jobs, and our days aside um, to serve justice, to serve justice. I mean, so we, we all walked in with an open mind um, and we left out with a guilty verdict. But that's that's but that's literally how the system is. And that's how it works. I mean, we walked in with an open mind and we were waiting to see, you know, we, we did our due diligence to see what the defense was going to come up with. We just felt like the evidence was overwhelming for our verdict. It had nothing to do with pressure from anywhere. Um, All right. It's just a decision that we came to, and that's what the jury system is there for. Brandon Mitchell. Uh, Brandon, we so appreciate you taking us inside that jury room. Thank you. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you for your service as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. really fast. Absolutely. Thank you. Brandon, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.